What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to some of Zack Ryder's greatest moments in the WWE. Let's get right into this. So even though Zack Ryder is no longer with the company because in early 2020 he was part of a large release, a bunch of wrestlers got released from their contracts, nonetheless, he has had a very interesting career, and I do love the guy. I think he's great in the ring, and no matter where he goes and what he does next, he's still going to be Zack Ryder, and he's still going to be improving and being the greatest he can be. So I have this video of all of his greatest moments within the WWE that we're going to be checking out. So let's just get started here. Here we go! Major Championship oh, win, 2008. Is this the tag titles? I think it is, yeah. This might have been back when... Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. When he was part of the Edgeheads with uh, Kurt Hawkins himself and, of course, Edge, the lead of the group. It was a pretty good moment. The fact that they won that, that was pretty cool. I don't remember this. Of course, it was just on Raw in 2011, so for me to remember that moment, pay-per-view moment, I could see, but... Alright, John Cena's always been a standout guy, so... Helping Zack Ryder pin Mark Henry, who is, at the time, a world champion. That's pretty cool, I like that. He shocked himself. He doesn't realize uh, doesn't realize that he won the match. That's pretty cool. I, I think he deserved a bigger push than what he received in the WWE. At least he did have his WrestleMania moment, though. Oh, the United States Championship. TLC 2011. All right. Um, I remember seeing interviews with Zack Ryder and Dolph Ziggler where they said they loved working with each other back then. Some of their greatest matches were against each other for this time period, so to me that's awesome to see, especially to have him win when he was grinding away and just trying to stand out in a company that is kind of hard to stand out, especially nowadays. So happy there, that's awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the moment I was just talking about, his WrestleMania moments, the Ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. I love this moment. I think I watched it live. A lot of people didn't expect Zack Ryder to win. Now, he didn't hold on to the title too long, but to have a WrestleMania moment like this in a huge match, a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship, to me, that's pretty special. And there's nothing right about this. Absolutely. Oh, nothing I remember right this. this. Oh, Hawkins was on his downfall, in my opinion. Um, but he was doing it as part of his gimmick. It wasn't that he was losing and always losing. He wanted to continue losing once he hit 100s. I think it was over 200 that he lost. Reuniting Zack Ryder with Hawkins was freaking awesome. It was. They were one of my favorite tag teams for quite a while once they reunited. I just... Wanted them to win, wanted them to succeed, wanted Hawkins not to be losing all the time, wanted to get him to get his first win in a really long time. Once they teamed up, you could finally see the light with them that it was going to happen. That was pretty awesome. Oh, that was just January 2019. That's pretty cool. That's crazy. Just to think a year... After that, a year and some months after that, they got released from their contracts. Both of them. But at least they had another WrestleMania moment, both of them, this time. Zack Ryder already had his Intercontinental uh, WrestleMania moment. Now Hawkins gets a WrestleMania win for the uh, Raw Tag Team titles, so this was a great moment. I'm glad that they had them do it. I think that was awesome, something the fans wanted to see at Mania, and they got to see it. It was pretty epic. One of my favorites, one of my favorite moments from that WrestleMania, just because the hype behind them, they were the underdogs, 
Nobody thought they were going to win. It's been a long time for Zack Ryder to win matches, let alone finally get a chance for a tag team championship or any championship and win. That, in my opinion, was awesome. It just sucks that they both got released from the contracts. Hopefully Zack Ryder, he can find something else. And also Kurt Hawkins, that would be very interesting, especially if they go to a different promotion and be a tag team again. But be pretty cool. So this was me reacting to some of Zack Ryder's greatest moments in the WWE. I really miss him. I really wish that they found some way to keep him in the WWE. Even if that meant sending him to NXT, I think he could have been a standout star. At least by himself in NXT, I think that would have been cool. Going against maybe Valveteen Dream for the North American Championship. I thought that would be a very interesting rivalry. Or having... Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins in NXT as a tag team. I've always wanted that to happen. That, I think, would have been an awesome alternative instead of releasing them, seeing what they can do, along with everybody that got released, seeing what they could do in NXT, and if they don't work out in NXT, then release them. But I miss them. I can't wait to see what he does next. Comment down below what you thought of Zack Ryder. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.